as we get into 2021 and hope that at some point this year we can safely have events all around the world again, I thought let's take a step back and look at some top plays from previous tournaments. So this is the top 5 plays from Foam Pro Tour 2019. Starting us off at number 5 is Kyle Huen of Dauntless in a match against Beef Squad, who displays some impressive dodging ability to stay alive when under pressure from the opposing team. The round is down to a 3v3 situation and Kyle is dealing with a mag that has improperly loaded darts and the opposing team attempts to bunker him. He employs the 5 Ds of dodge, duck, dip, dive, and dodge to avoid several point blank shots to stay alive long enough for his teammates to take out not one, but also the second opposing player that was forced to push in to get that tag. Leading to what was probably one of the strangest ends to a round in this tournament, a 1v1 where one of the players runs out of darts, drops their blaster, makes a dash for the flag, but Randall of Dauntless realizes what's going on, makes it to the flag first, and easily runs it in for the capture. At number four, we have Jonathan Deating of Team Sesh in a match against Team Chaos. This is round number three, and Team Sesh is down two points to zero. An elimination round win would only get them one point, so what they need is a flag capture to tie the game and force an overtime round. As time progresses, they bring the round into a two versus two with about 30 seconds left. Knowing there's not much time left, Jonathan puts the pressure on, rushing forward and bunkering one of the two posing players immediately going for the flag, dodging the darts flying his way, and securing the flag capture, netting two points, tying the match, forcing the overtime round, which they did in fact win, securing a fantastic come from behind victory, which would not have been possible without this play. Coming in at number three is one of my favorite creators, Beret of Team Paradox, in a match against Hanu. In the first round of this match, Paradox fell behind 1-3, to three, leaving only Beret on the field protecting the middle line. Recognizing they have a fantastic numbers advantage on the field, Hanu decides to attempt a flag run. But Beret makes fantastic use of the bottleneck around the flag as all three opposing players attempt to converge on it at the same time. Tagging all three of them out in rapid succession, preventing what could have been a disastrous first round of this match for Team Paradox, and instead turning it into a 1-0 advantage. Coming in at number two is Karius of Team Chaos in a match against Dauntless. If you thought a 1v3 was spicy, how about a 1v4? After getting out to an early advantage in the round, Team Chaos quickly found themselves in a four versus one situation. As Dauntless gathers around the flag to get ready to try and capture that flag, Karius backs up off his piece of cover to protect the end line. Dauntless starts their push, even sending one player off to the opposite side as insurance to tag out Karius in case the flag run fails. But Karius just says insurance policies don't cover acts of God, and that's what I am! Eliminating all four players, taking the round, giving his team a 1-0 lead and four quick tags with an awesome flag rush defense. And at number one, we have Zombona of Space Force in a match against Team Paradox. Off the break, Space Force was obliterated by Paradox, losing four players to only one on the opposing side. But that didn't slow Zambona down. He immediately makes a move to a different piece of cover, and this may be the move that wins him this round. Being able to safely make it to this piece of cover allows him vision of the flag and the ability to protect it. And he makes good use of it tagging out the first player to attempt to grab the flag. As two more players converge on the flag and start their run with it, the third Paradox player makes their move as well, but Zambona says sit down, this is my show and you're all here just to make me look good. Follows it up by running down the remaining two players, securing the victory and the top play of this tournament with a great combination of field awareness, shooting, and movement. Now I don't know about you, but watching these plays has made me miss these tournaments even more and until we can get back out to them, I will be doing more of these in the future. So be sure to subscribe and let me know what your favorite play on this list was. And a big thanks not just to the players, but also to the staff and the people running these events that make them happen. And that does it for this top five. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.